the favourite teams to compete and do really well. But if they lose here today, they'd be 0-2 in their first two matches. I mean, again, against two strong teams, Fnatic plus two and Lakewood. But both teams, they had definite chances to defeat. So um, let's see what will happen here in game number six, guys. In the upper right-hand corner, we have our Red Zerg player from Team Liquid. It's Snoot. I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with Snoot. And we'll see how well he's going to do here as he goes up against the Invasion Esports Zerg player in the lower left side of the map. It's DRG Dongregu. How is everyone doing in the chat? Who are you guys cheering for? A little bit of people, a few people saying stop hating on ZVZ. You guys should stop hating on ZVZ. ZVZ is, um, ZVZ is a good matchup. You guys can't hate ZVZ, can you? Can you? So, um, so yeah, getting started here. We'll see uh, what's going to happen. There's no early pools so far, so uh, a little bit different from Catalina. DRG vs TLO. So going to be a little bit different from that. It is Inferno Pools. We are having cross spawns, so not too crazy. Uh, Zerg players, both of them, initially sending their overlords down south and north, respectively, to uh, try and scout the uh, close-by air bases. As it looks as though both are looking as though they're going to go straight into a hatchery first here. So both of these guys, hatchery first on the way down, and um, just... Greed, not really greedy, but just standard openings from both players. Nothing cheesy, nothing aggressive. Hatchery first, and we'll see if either of them wants to maybe add a gas on before they go into that spawning pool. That's going to be our next real question here. So uh, we'll keep our eyes open for that in the next few moments. As there's a gas actually coming down from DRG. So gas coming down from DRG. And uh, this uh, drone is... Okay, I thought that drone was doing something. Now he's going to put down his spawning pool. As uh, Snoot just goes straight into his pool here, and then his gas. So it's just a slightly faster gas for Dongregu. Nothing too major. And in the long run, this shouldn't really make too much of a difference, I think, as uh, we've got a couple of overlords crossing the map here and there. And um, again, they're just going to be slowly scouting out, trying to find out what each other are up to. No real information for either player so far. As, um, as yeah, not, <laughs> not really too much else to say, I suppose. Wait for these spawn pools to finish up, wait for the gas to be mined, and... I guess we can talk a little bit about what could happen after 100 gas has been mined. So, you know, with a gas before pool, very possible, you know, hatch gas pool, very possible DLG maybe just tries to go for some kind of link flood kind of style uh, kind of play here. And uh, we'll see, he is going to pull out completely of gas or he's going to leave one drone in? He's going to leave one drone in then. So uh, he's going to keep on mining gas slowly here and that means he's going to be able to get his... Uh, Speed lit is uh, being a nest up fairly soon. Uh, Snoot continues mining gas with uh, all of his drones though, doesn't pull any out. So start his speed straight away, and he's gonna have a much faster bane a nest here. So Snoot, more than anyone, looking as though he may be the aggressor here in this game. What is that little creature? <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, there's another one. Wow. You can't select them though. I wanna select it. I wanna see what it is. I wanna see what it's called. Um, so yeah, Snoot pops down his bane nest very early on here. Uh, again, speed will be a little bit faster from DRG, had a little bit of a faster gas, but when the aggression really starts to pile on, it's going to be Snoot in the advantage because he will have that faster bailing nest if he wants to be aggressive, um, which I would imagine so, otherwise he'd probably just get a spine crawl and get his bailing nest a little bit later and he should be fine. Uh, yes, a couple of greens here. I'm going to get into a position where they're going to be able to snipe this overlord, and this is pretty big. Sniping this overlord is going to uh, force DLG into supply block here. DLG making a, bon a lot of zerglings right now, and Snoot's actually the player drawing up, so Snoot is just playing defensively then, as this overlord goes down 24 lings in production. So this is going to be a lot of zerglings. About to head across the map here for DLG, about to try and run into the the natural base and try and see what he can get done. Bainless is finished though, and Snoot has a couple of... Uh, I mean, he doesn't really have any map vision though. This is the problem with this map. It's so large, it's hard to have overlords covering all of the angles. And so far, DLG is unscouted as his first Zerglings move out across the map. Snoot with two defensive Banelings on the way in. A couple of extra Kreens coming down as well. Is it going to be enough? Now, the first few Zerglings have been spotted, and the rest of them will be spotted right now by Snoot as they run under this Overlord. So Snoot knows this is on the way. He started up his own Zerglings in defense. Now, as uh, the first Banelin doesn't really get all too much done here. Now, as uh, the second Banelin as well going to go off. There's a lot of Lings. Is uh, DLG going to be able to make something happen as uh, Snoot... Coming down here, he's going to lose his first queen. Drones are going to be pulled up here. A couple more Balans being morphed in, and DRG. DRG, is he going to be able to make this happen? I don't know if he is, actually. Uh, he's starting to run out of, he's starting to run out of Zerglings. These Balans are going to finish up as well, and 
Diogis just lost all of his zerglings. Apparently drones are pretty darn good here. How many workers were killed? Five? That's not too many, and Snoothold's a pretty big worker lead here. He's got Bane and stuff. He doesn't, he's got more zerglings on the way. He should be able to deal with this pretty easily, and... Ah, oh, Bane picks off three zerglings as well. The drones are still killing off workers at the back, and, and DLG just doesn't have enough to push on through here. He has to back off. He has to go into kind of a backup plan, I think. And that's going to be what he does right now. He's starting to back off here. Snoop moving, moving a little bit far, too far forward. But the Zerglings! <gasps> no, GG. Just like that. The bailing hit. One huge bailing hit. Marks the end of the game here. And marks the end of the series. Team Liquid take it. Four games to two. GG 